next. We're all feeling great after this win. Um, you know, the Kings are four and four at this point. Another great performance tonight. Tonight, I think, was actually one of their best performances so far this season. And you look at this Kings team, they're relatively healthy. You know, we've been hearing some stuff about maybe Darren Fox has had an injury, but nothing on the injury report. Everybody's been available for every game this season except for that one game that Mo Harkless was out. So injuries can derail a season. And we, we talked we almost saw it last night. Yeah. Some we haven't mentioned yet, but yeah. I thought Rashawn Holmes was going to be out for a while. Yes. That didn't that play did not look good. And he's come up a couple of times limping yeah. this year. Yeah. But, but the point I'm trying to make here is that depth is what we've praised about this team. And there's been all these guys that haven't been able to play and maybe coach Walton's holding them to figure out, you know, what we're going to do with these guys. If we have injuries, we saw what happened at the end of last season. De'Aaron Fox was on an absolute tear. Then he, mm -hmm. he ends up getting COVID misses like the last 10 games of the season hurt their chances. You know, they were still in it, but you got to figure having they a guy like De'Aaron Fox well while he was out, but yes, you're yeah, right. Having he a guy was, like De'Aaron yeah. Fox is oh, going yeah. to help your team. Yeah. So, I don't think adding a guy like Marcus Gasol is going to help this team, but I'm really interested to see how this team will respond when there is an injury. You know, I'm knocking on wood here because I don't want to jinx anybody, but injuries happen. They're a part of basketball. Next man's got to step up. How are you feeling about the depth on this roster, Calvin? And uh, just in case there are any injuries, who do you think will be there to step up? Well, I already said earlier – on this podcast that to me the king's depth is the best attribute about their team it, it really is you know I, I wish i could say that it's it's De'Aaron fox having an all-star season career highs all over the place or even harrison barnes playing his way maybe into the all-star conversation mm -hmm. that th those are great and don't get me wrong they need both of those guys big time in order to be successful but to me the bench has been such a huge, huge key for them. They very consistently outscore the opponent's bench um, by double digits. I mean, it's not even close, usually. And part of that is because you have a guy like Buddy Heald, who really is used to being a starter or is a starter yep. and plays starters minutes. Um, and when he's on from three, he, he can be lethal. But the emergence of Davion Mitchell – those two guys together, you know, they, they've really carried uh, the load for the bench and at times for the whole team this year. So if there is an injury, definitely look to one of those two guys, obviously, yep. to be the first person to fill the hole. Unless it's somebody like, knock on wood, Rashawn Holmes, who gets hurt. Uh, then, you know, is it time to play Marvin Bagley? I don't know. I think Alex Len has really had a great start to the season, so he probably – if I had to guess, would be the first man up in, a, in an injury situation to a big man or the guy who's going to get more minutes out of that result. But having a guy like Tristan Thompson, you know, that's to me that is a really, really big mm -hmm. free agent signing because this guy doesn't play every night, but he still is going to bring the same He's ready. type of energy, whether he plays or not. Um, and he is a, a veteran who has a lot of playoff championship uh, basketball experience NBA experience so he can be he, he knows the type of mindset that he's going to have to get in if he is called on to have to play a bigger role yep still haven't seen Metu yet either yeah Metu's there he played great internationally this year and then the Kings sent a bunch of guys to Stockton to work on their game with the Stockton Kings we could potentially see a couple of those guys getting called up but uh Luke Walton's playing such a tight rotation right now. He, he really is. It, it's like you have, you have what five guys tonight on the roster that didn't even play. Yeah, and three of 